This is Jason over at Go Power Sports, and today we're going to show you how to put on the half top plate onto a Predator Hemi engine. This kit will fit the Predator Hemi 212 engines as well as the Tillotson 212 engines. What's nice about these top plates is that you can attach a fuel pump to the top of it. This plate already has the holes cut out, which is already the perfect size for these fuel pumps. Most people end up running a fuel pump if their gas tank is below their engine's carburetor. This kit currently comes pre-assembled, so all we'll have to do is take off the gas tank, your muffler, and your stock air box. You'll have to take out the governor out of your engine. You'll also have to take off the regulating frame that has all your throttle linkages. You'll have to take that off of your engine as well. Alright, now it's time to break down this Hemi 212. All right, we have the governor taken out, we have the gas tank off, we have the exhaust off, the stock air box off. Now we are ready to install the top plate. The reason why this top plate fits the Hemi 212s and the Tilson 212s because of these front ears that your gas tank was sitting on. This top plate is also going to match that same bend as well. All right, so we have our top plate. We have this bent piece as well. That's what your throttle cable is going to be fed through. That's going to go on the front hull, the same size as the spray. We're going to connect it with the black Allen head bolt along with the nylon lock nut. All I'd like to just get this uh, just so I can at least get everything into place. This gold piece does unscrew, and be careful, there is a small little ferrule piece inside of it. Alright, now that we have the gold piece that holds your throttle cable installed, we'll then mount the half top plate onto the engine. We'll start with the back with this black Allen head bolt, and screw it right in towards the back. Then we'll take the long bolt with the two washers. We're going to go bolt, washer, onto the top plate. The other washer underneath, then you're not. Now you do have to do a tiny bit of tweaking. When you have this governor rod that they supply, you're going to have to turn this end that's bent at a 90, you're going to bend it down 90 degrees. We have our governor rod, and then bend this at 90 degrees. Just like that. The Z portion of this rod will fit into the short arm that's on your on your top plate. The L side will fit onto the top of your carburetor right above the black butterfly. Nothing to it. Alright, now we're going to install the throttle cable. Take the short end of the gold piece and feed it through the front of the top plate's ear. You're going to feed a new throttle cable, put it through the small little ferrule inside and cap, and then tighten down. Your throttle cable will fit into the inside of this gold piece. You're then going to feed the throttle cable into your throttle clevis pen. Open it up so that your throttle cable will feed through it. You'll get the right length. Just feed your cotter pen through the ear.
get your throttle cable set to where you want it tightened down at. You don't want it too tight or else you'll, as soon as you turn on your engine, it'll end up throttling on you. All right, now that you have your throttle clevis pen tight, you're good to run. We have installed our cut top plate onto the Hemi Predator 212, which will also fit the Tillotson 212 engine. Easy install, you get all the parts that you need, all in one crack, all the hardware, your throttle clevis pen, every single nut and bolt to assemble this. This kit also reduces weight, reduces drag, it'll help cool down your engine at the same time as well, and just a sleek looking plate on for the top of your engine. I'm Jason at Go Power Sports and have a lovely day.